Axeman here, broadcasting to you live from my new house. And because I have just moved in, I do not have my regular recording set up in place yet. So the quality now is not going to be representative of what you're going to see in future streams on the channel. In addition to that, it is the 4th of July weekend, so people are letting off some fireworks, getting a little crazy, so if you hear explosions in the background, do not panic. It is just the glorious sound of freedom in the sky. But, um, oh, and also I have a fan running in the background because I do not have my, uh, my air conditioner here yet. As I said, I'm still getting set up, getting my furniture and everything in, but I did want to stream because I had mentioned in the past that I wanted to have some sort of themed streaming series on my channel, and I've decided to, at least for, uh, at least for now, do some indie streams. And this is Undertale, a game that I've already uh, put some footage up of this game on my channel in the past. Uh, Fizz and I did some uh, videos of this. But we are now live streaming. And this game has partial controller support, so I'm still learning how to... Uh, learning the ropes here about how to move around or relearning the ropes, I guess you could say. Okay. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti delicious. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. I know exactly how that feels. I just got a microwave today, even though I've been here for two days already. So yeah, cold food and me have, uh, have become reacquainted over the past couple of days. But that is okay, because uh, I'm getting set up slowly but surely. And I am excited to start streaming. I didn't really announce anything about this beforehand. Um, didn't really tell anybody about it. Just decided I wanted to go ahead and get things going. And we'll see how this goes. This will pretty much be like a test stream, I guess. And that will let me know what changes I need to make in the future. Uh, just as a reminder, I do not really have like face cam or like stream chat or anything set up like that. But um, I will go ahead and learn that as we go. It'll be a learning experience for all. Warning, dog marriage. Okay. Dog marriage, huh? Uh-oh. Oh man, we've got Ice Cap and Jerry. Let's see. Act. Um, Ice Cap. I will ignore your beautiful hat, Ice Cap. Of course it's annoyed. <laughs> oh god. I didn't really uh, config my joystick either here, so that might be a problem. Okay, Jerry lets out a yawn. Let's see. Can we do mercy yet? No, we cannot. Okay, Ice Cap, I will ignore you again. Even though it is hard not to look at your beautiful hat. I suck at this. Well, aren't you guys just super nice? Wow, I am getting torn up by this. Probably really should have uh, set up the joystick before doing this. Jerry has to go to the bathroom. That's good to know, man. Thanks for sharing that. We'll spare you. The Wi-Fi here sucks. Jerry lets out a yawn. Okay, I still can't spare Jerry. Let's see. Uh, let's ditch him. Wow, we ditched him. Poor Jerry. Uh, okay, we do have some spikes here. And apparently a bunch of cotton balls or mothballs or something around what looks to be a drawing here. So, and I'm actually, I think I am, uh, low on health or something. So where is my menu here? Here we go. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do monster candy. All right. So... We are officially full up again, and I'm guessing that diagram is telling me there's something over here that I need to, uh, to do. Let's see. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Okay. There we go. And this is probably not going to be a very long stream. It's probably just going to be, like, maybe 20, 30 minutes max. Uh-oh. What the heck? It's the Snoopy Executioner Twins, apparently. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. 
Whoa. Nice uh, jazz bass in the background there. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Wow, okay, that's, uh, that's a little bit. Dogi assault you. Okay. Huh, <laughs> they're like a couple, I guess. Okay, um, not going to pet them. I will pretend to be a dog. I smell like a weird puppy. Number two, Nuzzle Champs 98. Of course, we were second. Whoa. Whoa. Dogs may want to resmell you. Okay. Um. Resniff. Dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. <laughs> what? It smells like a. Are you actually a little puppy? Uh, sure. I will be anything you tell me to be, as long as you do not hit me with your giant axe, as you just did. Wow, I took a beating there. Dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Can I show mercy? No, I cannot yet. Um. Let's see. No, I smell fine. Well, I appreciate that they're telling me I do not uh, stink like a filthy human, but uh, dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Okay, let's see. Um, pet? What about me? A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. Okay, let's, uh, wow, that was a bad move. Wow, we are getting beat down here. Okay, we are going to have to use some more health. Uh, let's go with the nice cream. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Uh, like, not... I, I don't have a tail. Like, I don't think most humans have tails, but I'm not going to say that no human has a tail because, uh, you know. See, let's pet this one. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Huh. Dog's minds have been expanded. <laughs> yeah! Okay. So all we had to do is roll around in the disgusting dirt and get that evil human smell off of us. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. You are welcome, Snoopy Executioner couple. Oh boy. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay. Guess you just walk on it. Oh man, there's Papyrus. What's up, bro? What? How did you avoid my trap? Uh, easy. And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Uh, I left it. Like, I just got my microwave today, man, so, you know, I didn't really want to eat the cold spaghetti. No offense. Really? Wowie, you resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta, just so you could share it with me? Yeah, sure. Fred not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Maniacal laughter. Okay, so uh, I guess we're getting more spaghetti. I rather started a sock collection recently, how saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Wow. You are a, uh, you are a cool guy, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Another X and O puzzle, I guess. Human, hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the crown. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay, let's see. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay, so... Okay, that was uh, messed up. Is this a reset switch? Okay, it does reset. It doesn't kill me, so... Let's take a moment to think about this. Um, let's see. 
I go... Uh, let's see, there. Still no bueno. Oh, wait, can I just walk around here? Oh, okay, you can just walk around the edge. Well, that works. So. We can just... Whoa. Yeah, I really do need to, like, fix this joystick. It does kind of, like, have a mind of its own in some cases. He kind of, like, veers a bit. Actually, in this case, the uh, arrow keys might not be a bad idea. Haha! -ha. Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. I'm impressed too, Papyrus. You must care about puzzles like I do. Puzzles and pasta, yes. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Maniacal laughter. Okay. So, Papyrus is uh, really into puzzles. Oh, look at Sam's. Hey, bro. Long time no see. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Oh, man. That music, though. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. The red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Okay, can't walk on the red tiles. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. I guess that means you either take damage or it's instant death. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Okay. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Does that mean the dogs are going to come back after me? Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. I, I probably should have been, uh, like, writing this down or something. <laughs> Also, if it is a blue tile, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery, you will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, okay, there's no way this is real. This has to be some sort of gimmick. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. So the pink tiles are good to go. Understand the explanation? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> this might take a couple of tries if it's not some sort of gimmick. And there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Maniacal laughter. Get ready! Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> really? This is what we're doing. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Actually, that's spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. Bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. <laughs> Hopefully. The machine isn't working. What's up, dog? This dog is staring blankly into the snow waiting for it to turn into art. Aware of dog, please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to save, and then when we pick back up, we will talk to uh, this individual over here. So, knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stop here, guys. Uh, would like to thank you for checking this out.